to publish your own book can be such a huge adventure trust me it's exciting don't get me wrong now i want to teach you how i've typically done this over and over again not only for me but for many of my clients as well since 2009 on um, of course realistically since 2013 because that was when i i published my first clients right because i did my book later on in 2018 but i'm going to take you step by step this is for you if you plan to write and publish your book yourself saving all the costs that you pay to people to do one thing or the other that you can do and also keeping all the profits from sales that's what this video is about so typically books are becoming one of the things that you can use to stamp your authority as a global leader as a thought leader as somebody who has value to give in that sense now the process of publishing has also become a little bit easier there are platforms now there's practically everything easy but the thing is you sometimes can be overwhelmed with all the information and you're wondering okay where do i start from so i'm not just going to give you typical steps of how to do it but i'm going to show you steps that i have used to do it and why this is your best route to take okay so if you're here to learn all of that because we are here talking money saving it making more of it then relax this is your video my name is chisum then watch typically books are a low-end um, resource for thought leaders is the easily accessible resource that will come from you that people can easily get it, that's because it's less uh, or is much more affordable to get it than maybe your online course or your coaching programs or you're somebody who does depending if you're a coach or something or your speaking engagements right so books are a good must have if you have so if you have something to say and of course everybody has something to say even if it is their experience they are sharing and how to overcome it right but now among the many many people who have things to publish something that always holds a lot of writers back from becoming authors at their own time is usually cost how much that they need to spend to typically get their book out there so this is me hoping that this process will help bootstrap your process because this is something I have done more from my drawing from my experience as a business owner and my experience as an author who also, you know, did my own indie publishing in that sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so this is one thing that you must know. You must have written a book and put a full stop that this is the end of the book. Yeah, so that's where to start. So if you want a, a video for how to write and finish a book, then I will do a separate video for that. So that's why you should go ahead right now, like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss that video. But I'm starting at the point where you're already done with your manuscript. Where do you take it from here? For me is to begin to market the book. Yes, you heard me right. What do I expect you to do? If you're on social media in particular, I expect for you to begin now in a rewind mode, begin to tell people on your timeline, your stories, your posts, carousels on your youtube videos about the process of writing your book so what i mean is you don't tell them that you just finished writing your book that means you should have been taking note of some of the critical processes you went through during the book writing exercise themselves so even if you haven't done that this is the time to just sit back brainstorm pen in hand and write down some of the event eventful things that happen during your writing process for instance you know how you will be writing and sleeping off if that is something that happened to you how you will write and then change your outline last minute because you just thought oh i think this should also fit in this should fit in and how you were able to overcome that process of proning what to include in the book and what not to include in the book that process is a content on its own so you can use that by storifying your experiences in the process of writing you know what this content will do it will warm up people's curiosity and make them feel a sense of belonging that they are with you in this journey so why i want you to do it when you are done is so that your marketing and creating content does not disrupt and delay the book writing process itself so do well to do this at this point so while you're on that the next thing you have to do is to send this book or this manuscript off to an editor it doesn't matter whether you're an editor like me edit it write it and edit it but then send it off to another editor if you're an editor or a professional editor to make sure that this book is well edited also send it to a proofreader and make sure that it is 
proofed to the T. Very important. Very important. Because I don't want to have that experience I used to have years ago. When I started my company, I, I literally used to feel like it was my problem that people were publishing books with had grammatical errors and blunders in them, poor character descriptions and all of that. I no don't do that <laughs> don't do that you want an amazing book and today's age of ai and is it doing everything your book is the last thing you want to allow to be messed up don't start with messing it up yourself by not sending it out for professional editing looking for the best editor and you can't find my company is here to help you send us a mail right now at logosaudibles at gmail.com showing on your screen and we'll get back to you immediately we edit for people across the globe who've done this for 14 whole years okay next thing while you, your manuscript is with your editor what do you do with those weeks or maybe months that your editor is still with your book include the experience of getting an editor your editor's thoughts and reviews about your work as part of your content and keep telling your audience about the process carry them along you see what i mean so there's no part of this thing that is not going to work for you so while you're doing this next thing i want you to do is to look at the best hands that can design a stunning bankable covered design because oh my god that's your book's billboard you get your cover design has to be top notch now there are a few principles make it catchy make the colors contrast don't go put a yellow font on a white background don't do it you, so that's why you need to get a professional book cover edit sorry not editor book cover designer I mean, you can even design yourself. Use Canva. Do you remember we are trying to save cost? So use Canva. Design yourself. Use Canva. There are templates there you can maneuver and get something fantastic. But you also need to understand the technical size and all of that to be able to get your book coupled together. Part of what you should do at this stage is when you get your cover design ready, try and make it into a 3d animation so what your book will look like typically there's actually a free tool you can use online i have included it in my description to convert your book cover with the blade and all of that into a book that people can see what it's about so it feels so real so while you're telling the story carry them along with the timelines when you're going to launch when the book will be available but by what i mean when you're going to launch when you will be you make it open for people to begin to place their order for the book and pay for it all of that so remember that what you're using this content to create is excitement expectancy and of course get the people that are interested to know that you're going to launch it soon i don't mean launch of an event but launch of making it available for people to buy or pay for it ahead of time at a discount this stage is very important so you tell them that since they are following you when this book is out finally printed it might cost say twenty dollars but now you're, you're going to fix a date before the main book printing and all of that where they can get it at say fifteen dollars or thirteen dollars because they are pre-buy you get what i mean so that way you are on course the next thing that you're supposed to do of course Planning your launch also means that you know one thing with this process, there are so many things that should be happening at the same time. So I'm going to still be giving it to you like that, but you should know the things to do as you go on. I'm going to mention that. So at this stage, because you want to also be creating your content and give it an update of, of the launch when it will be available for people to book it, you also have to set up a, an e-commerce store yeah where the book will finally be available so whether it's an amazon you want to use or any other online store or your own e-commerce store like i use seller.co for instance if that's where the people will be able to buy the book then you have to create that and another thing you don't want to miss out is when you're creating this excitement in people you must be able to be funneling them into an email list that is like a waiting list so that also means you're supposed to set up your email list for this book where you can now be sharing the link as you are sharing the story so you get what i mean that's why i said it has a lot of moving parts remember the aim is for you to save costs do your thing and i told you it's an adventure right and it's so sweet trust me time frame look at this give this a typical of at least 90 days this whole process of 
from market begin to market it sending it off to editor the least it can go is three three months yes so the next thing you should do you have gotten a fantastic book cover design you have even converted in 3d while they're getting it ready for the normal book prints remember why you need to use a professional is that you need to decide with your, with your designer the size of this book the, the font size the font style the spacing like a book that is about 60,000 words can make a 200 page book depending on the spacing right if it's a double spacing on ms word or if it's a single spacing they will all vary if it's a single spacing it will be half the size in volume and all of that and it also depends on how you want your book to appear so also using a book that you typically like can be written by another author can be you know that can make the journey easier so you can just show them oh so use this cdj's book so use this one so you guys go through it and look at what you want to adopt in the formatting style so this is now going to getting somebody who can format your inner design so apart from the cover design you also have to design the inner of the book and trust me it's a very technical thing to do one of the things that <laughs> if you don't pay attention especially not professional they can leave out some part of your writings and then it doesn't come out in the book you don't want that to ever happen okay so why that is happening the next thing you should go source for is a good printing press within your vicinity or your city or your country where you can publish that their rates are fair you can you can afford and they also they know their craft so you must ask to see samples of their work make sure they also have a cutting machine so that the blade of your is it blade you call this like the blade of your book i wish i had a typical book here okay let me get a typical book okay, so i got typical books so this one is a textbook okay you could look at how their finishing is they look at their print quality their paper quality and all of that now this is also a booklet you know a smaller book this is written by my friend so you see that the the book of um what am i saying the paper quality of this is also different i love this paper in particular so you could look at also this this is what i was trying to describe how they cut it i see some books that is very terrible the way they cut here so messy they look at their quality of print and all of that this is also another example also written by my friend irene so this book is a hardcover i love hardcover books as well so you decide whether you you know so you look at you know all the all the books i bought there they did a good job so also look at how this book is also by it also has a a milk white bond paper right so you must ask to see so you must ask to see the samples of work they've done before you decide on the one you want and most times you must know that while you are approaching a printing press costing is done i know that you might say oh i'm just starting out i just need maybe a few copies for a start that is good for amazon right or um, yeah but when you're printing traditionally printing costs more when you are printing less yes printing costs more when you're printing less because the ink and a few other things that they need to use to print let's say 50 copies or 100 copies of a book sometimes most of those resources can also print like 500 and 1000 so it's the same cost that they're going to pay to get that rolling i don't want to get to, into the details of that but that's typically how it works so the more copies you make the lower the cost of each book will be right so if maybe a printing press is, is charging each of these book will go for let me use my nigerian naira three thousand naira where you print 100 copies one copy might might still come down to two thousand if maybe you're printing 500 copies or a thousand copies so that's what i mean so you have to factor that in in trying to get to settle for a printing press and of course also make sure that your printing press have integrity you know people they you know who have used them and they have good machines which you can only find out by looking at the books they've done right and telling them exactly how you want it exactly how you want it okay the next thing that you must pay attention to i try to write my thoughts down so let me get it uh-huh this one is very important now, the next thing is for you to fix a price for this book that you have written remember a few things come to play the volume the 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 topic area the industry um the genre all of that come to play when it comes to costing but majorly printing cost is one 
your time for writing trying to repay yourself a bit of it has to come in then other cost that you're going to pay the designers um, editors all of that cost all together with your time frame of how how long these things are going to cost all that has to be in place when you're trying to factor in the composite cost of you delivering that book don't leave anything out now if doing this process would take it maybe took you from writing to publishing would take you like a year consider things as far as the phone calls you've made food you've eaten while writing your phone bills very important those things percentages of them have to be included in your course because that's the environment that better the book in all of it okay now when you put all of that together then multiply it by the number of copies of the book that you are bringing out in this first phase because i believe you're going to make a lot of impact with that book you're not going to just print it once or twice and then nobody hears about it again nah we don't do that right here that book is going to be a bestseller amen <laughs> so the cost for this first print divide it divide the whole cost by by the number of copies you're going to make but i'm not saying put all of that cost in this first production but that will give you an idea of how much each copy at least costing you so you don't use only the printer's cost and then divide it by the number of copies by the printer and use that to sell your book that's not business so that is not business now there's something that is also very typical that just came to my mind um if i forget uh, Anyway, this book is supposed to keep coming out. If you do a first batch of a thousand and you sell it out, you're supposed to keep printing and then selling it out. So, also, yes, I remember what I wanted to say. When you go to your printing press, because you're doing this alone, you're not going to be able to sue any company for missing out to for your missing manuscript or anything. Please ask for a soft copy of the final design from your designer, the one you're going to take to the printing press. And if the printing press tweaked anything but the format where the printers are going to use to finally print also get that copy if it's different from your designer zone get that copy it's very important because when you go for reprint maybe in a year or two or in a few months they might actually be looking for <laughs> your book i'm serious it has happened a lot a few times with people i know they might actually be looking for your the soft copy of your book i know some people some of them save it on on e by email or in the cloud and all of that but also make sure you have your own copy that way when you're going back for a reprint you just go with your flash drive where your final copy is actually very very important then while you're at this your marketing is still going concurrently make sure you set a date for the actual delivery of the book that is realistic don't put yourself in a tight corner that that uh, and then fix a a launch plan a launch period that is at least three months as well so let's say for instance you started marketing this book talking about your experience writing and all of that you've done that for one month or within that one month as well your book has gone through editing and has come out now it's going through design so let's say you use six weeks to keep promoting your book and calling to action for people to follow your email list so that they will be the first to know when your launch date is or is here use that time away then add another three months for instance so if your printer says for instance it is going to take a month or six weeks or three weeks to print the actual book don't put don't say your book is going to be delivered in three weeks time that will put yourself in a tight corner so assuming it's going to take another four weeks for the printer to be ready with the book packaging print and for you to deliver give it another Add another month or another two months even or another six weeks just to be on the safe side see trust me it's better for you to say this book you guys have pre-ordered is going to come out we are in july now it's going to come out say in september and you know that printing and everything will be okay and done by august it's better for you to take your time package your book deliver even ahead of time than to get to september and the book is not even out of print so if you also need to raise some income that's also the time to make sure that everything is put in place so you fix a realistic date for your marketing so you keep telling them those who are pre-ordered pre-order now and you are going to get this book the book on a particular date you know on in september for instance and this is just me giving an example so you have to keep marketing this book in different ways you have to use influencers 
use your own social media pages see I don't even do it when people don't market their own things and then they send an influencer to market it doesn't always work because buyer behavior people will always come back to the author to look at their page to know whether and how long they've been promoting it just to be sure that they are safe their money is safe if you are the kind of person who doesn't like to post on social media you should, don't write a book except you want to write it for just you and your friends which is okay but we're talking about typically making money here and that's what this channel is about okay and writing about using what is within you to do the work you love and make money from it so these are some of my experiences and you're going to use different ways speaking engagement so let's say your book is about say mentorship so it's on self-development you know you, you you also make sure you are you start accepting maybe speaking engagements where you're going to speak to young people on mentorship or mentor young people that way your book can become a pass for people to buy to attend the event there are various ways to market and that can be done in another video how to market your book i'm going to do that in another video but i hope you got a thing or two from my strategies and i hope this works for you as well okay i'm not talking physical books and i've done a few videos about two about two or three videos on how to create ebooks please go watch them right away now okay catch here later